Teachers in our secondary schools are calling for academic streaming to be scrapped by 2030. The PPTA says grouping students in low and high ability classes creates inequity by segregating students from different backgrounds. The research also found students benefit socially and academic achievement improves when students of mixed abilities are in the same class. The improvement was most pronounced in Māori and Pacifica students. For more on that research, we're joined by Pirapi Prendergast from Tekona Tiraki. Kia ora Pirapi. your group carried out this research, so tell me what benefits did you observe in the non-streamed classes? Oh, kia ora Ingrid. Um, just before I answer that question, can I just acknowledge what a brave decision it was today by PPDA? 20,000 teachers, secondary teachers voted to end streaming, um, to end a discriminatory and damaging practice, and that is just awesome. And can I just quickly acknowledge that um, walking alongside PPDA is the primary school union NZDI, and so that's just doubly fantastic. Your question, what benefits? Um, we've been collecting case studies um, from across all types of different schools throughout New Zealand. The benefits, the pattern that we're observing is um, as follows. One, um, students, their confidence, self-belief increases. Two, um, they become braver in their education. They try more challenging tasks. Um, three, the academic results improve, especially for Māori and Pacifica. And then the last one, um, principals are reporting that there seems to be greater social cohesiveness, and in their words, schools are a happier place. OK, why is it so important for those Māori and Pacifica students? I think the shocking thing that research is showing is that around the age of six, students or teachers are grouping their students um, according to ability for maths, reading, writing. And so you've got your top group, your bottom group. And unfortunately, because largely because of um, stereotypes, underlying narratives, Māori Pacifica students are over-representative in the bottom groups. And for that, um, the damage to self-confidence, to self-esteem, the feeling of being dumb um, causes huge, um, huge damage to those to those students, and not only that, those stereotypes um, become reinforced, and for Māori and Pacifica students, they internalise them, and that's very, very dangerous. Okay, okay, and just just quickly though, of course, what about the higher achieving students? Is there a risk? This is the old argument that they will be held back if there aren't stream classes. The the research. Um, says that for those highest achieving students, there may be some small advantage short term for those higher achieving students, but taking over the research over two or three years shows no real benefit for those students. Okay, Pitapi, thanks very much for your time tonight. Thank you.